the electromagnetic reciprocating engine is a mechanical renewable energy source. It is said that it is against the law of physics, law of conservation of energy, you cannot create energy. The 19th century law of conservation of energy is a law of physics. It states that the total amount of energy in an isolated system remains constant over time. The total energy is said to be conserved over time. For an isolated system, this law means that energy can change its location within the system, and that it can change from within the system, for instance chemical energy can become kinetic energy, but that energy can be neither created nor destroyed. In the 19th century, mass and energy were considered as being of quite different nature. No mechanical energy source or system creates energy, it converts energy from one form to another. The majority of the systems convert some energy into mechanical energy to turn a generator or wheels for motion. Combustion engine, electric motor, burning fossil fuels, wind power, nuclear power, water power, solar mirror, Geothermal power are examples of mechanical energy sources that turn something, a generator, or wheel. The combustion engine converts chemical energy, gasoline, or diesel, or natural gas, using the crankshaft into mechanical energy. The electromagnetic reciprocating engine converts electricity into mechanical energy and converts some, or all that energy back into electricity, returning some to the engine. The electromagnetic reciprocating engine demonstrates four understandings, one, that energy is not being created, it is being converted, two, that converting energy from magnetic energy to mechanical energy is not a one-to-one -one conversion, three, that there is an increase of mechanical energy from mechanical advantage of the crankshaft, four, that some of that increase is converted into electricity and the remaining mechanical energy can be used to turn a generator or transmission. The key to the engine's renewable energy is the crankshaft's mechanical advantage. The electromagnetic reciprocating engine turns the crankshaft a half stroke, requires 88% less energy and produces 87% more energy over the standard four-stroke combustion engine. To produce renewable energy requires taking 70% of that increase and returning it back to the engine, makes it a renewable energy source. The remaining energy is a 17% increase in energy over the standard combustion engine. The electromagnetic reciprocating engine is based on the crankshaft of a combustion engine. The following information is based on a combustion engine that produces 300 horsepower at 5000 revolutions per minute. RPMs. Let us look at the energy decrease over the combustion engine. We used the mean effective pressure formula to find out the force required to push down on a piston of the combustion engine to turn the crankshaft. Four strokes requires 1,495 foot-pounds of force. Two strokes requires 747 foot-pounds of force, a 50% decrease. One stroke requires 374 foot-pounds of force, a 75% decrease. One half stroke requires 187 foot-pounds of force, a 87% decrease. Let us look at the horsepower increase over the combustion engine. Using the power strokes of the combustion engine at 5000 RPMs. Four strokes. 4 divided by 5000 equals 1250 power strokes. 2 strokes, 2 divided by 5000 equals 2500 power strokes. 1 stroke, 1 divided by 5000 equals 5000 power strokes. 1 half stroke, 5 divided by 10,000, which is double because the power strokes are half the RPMs, equals 10,000. An 88% increase in horsepower. An example, the electromagnetic reciprocating engine will produce 382 horsepower using a half stroke. This engine is based on the four strokes of a combustion engine that produces 300 horsepower. The change in strokes produces an 88% horsepower increase to 546 horsepower. The 87% decrease in energy requires 164 horsepower from that horsepower increase to operate 
leaving 382 horsepower. The electromagnetic reciprocating engine is a mechanical renewable energy source. It does produce more horsepower and torque than the standard combustion engine. It does not need fossil fuels, green energy. It does not produce any greenhouse gases, clean energy. For more information, please email your questions or comments to innovation at secouonline.com and or visit the website at www.secouonline.com.